Hello, my name is Akshay Kinkre and welcome to the second master class on transfer pricing. Today's topic is the machinery of transfer pricing. So today we are going to look at uh, the transfer pricing mechanism for adoption and computation of arm's length price, the various steps which are involved in the determination of arm's length price and which are the integral components uh, to reach to uh, the LP in a transaction. These are the four important integral aspects which are necessary uh, to undertake a transfer pricing analysis there has to be an income uh, which would be arising to the associated enterprises in short we call them AEs and such an income should be uh, as a result of an international transaction which is undertaken between such associated enterprises and such an international transaction should be computed and shall be necessarily computed having regards to the arm's length price So here now we are going to look at uh, four important terminologies that is income, associated enterprises, international transaction and arm's length price. Income as is generally understood uh, is any income uh, on which tax needs to be payable. Uh, a simplified definition could be any type of income that is defined under section 2 subsection 24 of the Indian income tax law. It's very important to understand the meaning of shall be computed. It means it's a necessary computation having regard to the arm's length price. Uh, there are typical six methods for determination of arm's length price and there cannot be any seventh method for a computation. So only the methods which are prescribed needs to be looked into. What I am going to do here is because we are referring specifically to the regulations and we are not exactly taking you through the definition as such, I am going to link down the definitions uh, from the act in the description box for your ready reference. So moving ahead, uh, let's go to understanding of associated enterprises. Now associated enterprises as defined in section 92A in general sense could be understood as related parties. However, in transfer pricing we use a terminology of associated enterprise because it's specifically defined and it could mean differently than related parties because the definition has a different connotation when we are looking at from a transfer pricing point of view. In general, although there are many conditions, for a simplicity sake, an associated enterprise means an enterprise which ideally could participate in the management, control or capital of the other enterprise. Now that could involve a parent subsidiary or a vertical relationship or could involve a sister concern relationship. The fact that there is one entity which is a part of and representing the entire group or is also a constituent entity or a part of a larger group could qualify itself into associated enterprise. Now to avoid any confusion, the associated enterprise is defined to include 13 specific conditions. Now, if one enterprise in relation to another enterprise falls in any of these 13 strict definitions, only then both of these enterprises would be considered as associated enterprises. Otherwise, they will not be considered as associated enterprises. Another interesting point to note here is the definition uses a terminology that it, if one enterprise 
directly or indirectly participates in the management or control or capital of the other enterprise at any point during the year which means even if for an hour or for a day if there is a relationship that is established such a relationship of associated enterprise is said to be established for the entire year and transfer pricing for the entire year would be applicable to that particular transaction between the two entities now let's look at the next concept of international transactions it's important to define uh, the transaction between two associated enterprise because whatever are the arrangements between these two associated enterprises are ultimately going to get tested now there has to be first of all either two aes or more than two aes and one of such aes needs to be a non restricted if under any circumstances both the associated enterprises are domestic companies then the definition of international transaction would not apply now getting into the transactions what type of transactions could be covered under the definition of international transactions typically such transactions could be dealing into the tangible nature of transaction or an intangible nature of transactions so which could mean a purchase or sale of goods or it could mean purchase or sale of services or it could also include licensing further it specifically includes any type of financing as well as any type of service contracts further any type of cost sharing arrangements or a cost contribution arrangements would also be considered as international transactions now it's important that such international transactions should have bearing either on the profit and loss or the balance sheet position of the company any financial position also includes the positions that are taken in the notes to accounts which are the contingent liabilities which are an integral part of the company's financial statements now let's move on to the last concept in the chain of the machinery that is arms length price this is ultimately what we are trying to find out and such a price could be easily defined to be a price which is either a price for a transaction that is undertaken or is proposed to be undertaken while such a transaction needs to be comparable to the transaction that is entered between the associated enterprises and such a transaction needs to be undertaken in independent circumstances in an uncontrolled scenario which means that the circumstances under which both the parties in the transaction have contracted needs to be independent without having any bearing of the internal or external factors on such transactions by understanding these terminologies uh, we have just scratched the surface of transfer pricing regulations there is an in-depth study and in detailed analysis required to undertake a transfer pricing analysis we would be facilitating uh, the various concepts in a progressive manner so that you can make progress step by step by going through the master class and further important topics await you so stay tuned